Rav Meir Yao came to speak here a little while ago. He writes in his book, Merkavot Agaman, a beautiful chidush on the word Bereshit. He says, in the word Bereshit, you have everything a person needs for his entire life. He has the letter Bet, Roshet Tevot of Bereshit, you have Bet, Bitachon. You need Bitachon in your life for to be able to, to serve Hashem properly. Resh, he says you have to have a Rav. You have to have a person who guides you spiritually. And the next letter is Aleph. He says you have to have Emuna. Without this you can't survive. You can't continue and endure all the suffering of this world and the hardships without Emuna. Shin, he says, is Shvirat Amidot. A person has to break his Midot through his life constantly. And this will be able to help him improve and do the Shem Shamayim. Yud is Yirat Shamayim, fear of heaven, and Taf, he says, is Tfilah. So you have all the things a person needs in his service of Hashem, all in the words, in the single word, Bereshit. The Balaturim writes, if you take the word Bereshit bara Elohim, you take the Sofet Evod, the last letters of each of the letters, you get Emet. Bereshit, is the last letter is Taf. Bara, the last letter is Aleph. Elohim, the last letter is Mem, Emet. Rabbi Wilkins' grandfather writes a book called Ramat Shmuel, on Parshiot of the Torah. He asks over there, why is Hashem make it the Sofet Tevot, the end, the last letters, spell out Emet? Why the last letters? Make it, Hashem should have made it, that it would spell the Roshet Tevot. The beginning letters should be Emet. Why is the last letter spell Emet? He says, to teach you a lesson, that sometimes a met is not always there for the taking. Sometimes a met is hidden. Sometimes you have to go past all the letters, through all of the troubles of life, through all the balagan there is in life, and there you'll find a met. There you'll, after all the digging and after all the difficulty, that's where you find a met. And only those who persevere will find a met. That's why Hashem made it that the sofetevot, only the last letters are a met. We have to know, Hashem goes through the creation of every single thing in Bereshit to show us that each thing has a purpose. There's some people who don't understand why a small bug, well, what's the purpose of a small bug? We know the spider, sometimes people don't understand why spiders are in their way, why animals are in their way. There are the mosquitoes, they're just there to annoy you sometimes. Sukkot, we, we understood how annoying mosquitoes could be. But a person has to know everything has its purpose, everything has its time. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.